Hey everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today I will review the Anycubic i3 Mega. Alright, let's just cover the price right away because I know that's the first thing you're gonna look at anyway. You can now get it for $370 plus another 55 cents for shipping. What the? I did indeed print the Fox, so you can compare it to my other 3D printers in the video up here. I don't think anyone can deny that it did a fantastic job with the first print. Alright, so going back, the, the package came very nicely packaged and similarly to the Creality CR10, it is just so incredibly easy to assemble. Like lift the top frame up, secure a couple of screws and you're done, like literally 5 minutes. Very responsive and simple layout for the touch display, though in reality a scroll wheel is just so much faster to use. It does however have a auto bed level feature using an uh, inductive sensor that just makes the bed leveling software a lot easier. That, ju that just makes the bed leveling process a lot easier. Oh yeah, it also has this nifty little device that pauses the 3D print whenever you're running low on filament. So it's such an awesome tool for when you're making multiple color prints. The Golden Fox was printed in PLA, but for my second print I did use ABS and... Wow. You know, like, the main reason I never use ABS is because I just never get good results. But this machine just, just worked. Very good layer adhesion, the part is super strong and the quality is even there. How is this possible? The heated bed can reach the high temperatures, but it does take quite a long time. The flexible filament was just, the flexible filament was just impossible. For whatever reason, the nozzle was not able to put down a nice continuous stream of filament, and obviously this reflected the uh, printing quality immensely. The hot end didn't have a problem reaching the high temperatures at all, so the nylon print turned out great. Actually, it turned out surprisingly good. Alright, let's take this apart and check out the electronics inside. Bam! You have your standard AC connection. It's uh, properly grounded and everything is contained within this container. So we have no open power supply, which is great. And if we take a look at the terminals of the power supply, you can see all the connections has crimp connectors, which I've told you in a previous video uh, that it's uh, basically essential to uh, have a safe 3D printer. Both the power supply and the motherboard has cooling uh, fans. You also have uh, the bottom part of the of the container. Uh, you have these, uh, yeah, whatever that's called. There is no external MOSFET in here like on the Creality CR10, which makes kind of sense. The heated bed of the Creality CR10 is just so much bigger and uh, probably requires a lot higher amperage, which also would explain why the uh, power supply of the Anycubic is slightly smaller. But from a safety perspective, I think the Anycubic i3 Mega looks really cool. The maximum printing volume is 220 by 220 by 205 millimeters and, and that is pretty standard but clearly it's significantly smaller than the CR10. However, the frame is robust. Actually, let me show you. This is how robust the machine is, like, yeah, it's, 
it's not gonna botch. Well, and it does have two lead screws and that's something I know a lot of people have been complaining about with the CR10 of just having the, the one C-axis motor. So which one do I prefer, the Anycubic i3 Mega or the Creality CR10? Well, I would have to give a slight edge to the Creality CR10, but I did get a lot better ABS prints with the Anycubic. Uh, Multicolor prints are way easier to make. It does have two C-axis motors for whatever that's worth. It is a little bit lower cost and uh, it's really, really quiet. Actually, I believe it was uh, the lowest decibel reading across all my printers at only 50 decibels. That's crazy. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will give you an answer. I will do my best to keep you updated with the coupon codes in the description below. I hope you did enjoy this video. Ha I hope you did enjoy this video. Have a nice day. Bye.